Hey, what's up everybody? This is Evan Carthy from EvanCarthy.com. Uh, quick daily review, S&P 500 and the uh, Dow Jones. So let me go to the S&P 500 to start off with real quick. So um, what we had over here was we didn't have a big continuation from this move right over here. You can see down here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Price came down, hit it, got a little support off of it here the other day, but then price is just totally broken broken through it. So it's no longer valid. I'm going to take that off on there. Um, because uh, it, it was potential to have another move moving up from that one, but it didn't broke down through it uh, today. And uh, so mo moving down, um, what these black lines are right here is just the previous day's open, 8.30 Central Time, right up here somewhere, and then the close at 3 p.m. Central Time right here. Because as you can see from today, um, price, it broke out pretty much a down day up until <laughs> right about the U.S. market open. Came back up and finished right close, bounced off of the uh, previous day's market close right there. So um, I'm stuck with those in my chart because those are good road markers about where price can go. So I'm going to take them off for now, though, because they aren't important. And so what we have right here, what these blue lines are that I have, this dark blue one right here, I'm dark blue around here. I put it on earlier because I'm looking for this to be a potential uh, five-way move right here. You can see it's start up here with zero, one, two, three, four, and then the fifth one obviously would have to break the low down here and reach another, uh, this target box down over here to be it. Now, the funny thing about it is, and I just checked this, um, the low of this, and the high of this is right on it. It didn't break it by a tick up there, so it still is valid. But in the Dow Jones over here, uh, it did break above it, so it's not valid for it. So my guess is, since typically the SP 500 Dow Jones tend to move pretty closely together, not like the Russell, where it kind of does its own thing from time to time, and same with the NASDAQ, that this will not end up being a uh, five way move right here. Um, if anything, be looking for more support somewhere and then having an up day eventually here tomorrow, even though right now the market's selling off down here a little bit and it's looking like this is creating a short term five way move that I'll show here in just a second. But if it does, if it does somehow continue to go down and hit that, then we are looking at a five wave um, move down over here. And the target would be at least at around 3415.75 from where it currently is at about 3473.50 and is about 1030 p.m. Central Time right now. Um, so anyways, so then going over today, let's go to the one minute chart here real quick. So basically, I mean, it was just channeled down and then pretty much as soon as the U.S. session opened up right over here, it's pretty much channeled up, um, the rest of the day where price bounced off right here of the previous, excuse me, the previous days, um, the previous days, uh, close right there and uh, that's where it, that's where it ended up but in it you can see we had uh, several really nice moves right here <clears throat> here's the first LOA I spotted 0 1 2 3 4 5 up here you see price hit both of the 38 percent and that top box right there is just from the second point moving up right there you can see right there then the bigger box right there is the overall move right there of the 38 to 61.8 because if price starts closing below that then i'll look for the trend to go down but it stayed up here very nicely went up there and hit this target area that um that i was looking i was looking for from that overall move because once you get this one zero one two three four five i do look for price to come back down and hit the 38 percent line and then to go up for the overall move and hit the target when it does that so it is a trade i look to take and what it did when it did that is it started another five wave move down over here, zero, one, two, three, four, five, hit that one. And they can see from this overall move, I don't think price, yeah, price didn't come down and hit the overall 30%. It just hit it from the second point right there. And what that signifies to me is that the Elliott wave move is over. So it's time to look for, um, you know, other trades right there, but I don't take it off of that looking for it to continue up unless it comes down and hits the overall 38% move right there. And then once it did that, it created one last one today. Um, here you go, the zero, use it from the previous low where, where that last move ended right there, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Hit right off the target zone box, which again is just using, I don't, not again, but is using from the zero to three. And it's the 1.416 Fibonacci extension level up to the 1.618 and so that's where typically well for me the fifth point has to at least touch this box somewhere it can go past it which it does plenty of times but i do look for 
typically the turning point to happen somewhere within this box. And um, But if it doesn't hit it, then I don't count that as a fifth point move. And I'm looking forward to go um, higher until it does uh, hit this box. You see barely ticked off of it, which also was from showed earlier in the video. The previous day's close, and that's when that ended up right there. And as you can see from it, the price, it actually did. Let me draw the Fibonacci extension level. Hit the one from the second point easy and then bounced off the one from the uh, 38. And then look at that, went up there and hit the profit area 1.416 to the 1.272 area. So today from the US market, when it opened up, it's pretty much an uptrend. And to be honest, it wasn't, I know in last night's video, what I was looking for was, which obviously didn't happen. Um, let's see, in the overnight session, I was looking for price to move back up. Hit, let's see here. Or was it? I think it was about right here when I was doing the video, something like that. And come back up and hit 38, and then come back down here and hit the target area. But as you can see, um, price ended up going down there anyways to it without hitting uh, the 38%. So it wasn't necessarily a, just a, a Z, X, A, B, C type of trade thing. Um, but it did bottom out down there and uh, has just created straight up over here. And so it is, there is that potential zero, one, two, three, four, five. But if price comes up and breaks this line right here, if it gets to what's the high in this one right there, high in that one's 3491.25. So it goes to 3491.50. It's broken and this isn't a valid um, five way move. And I wouldn't be looking for from the setup for it coming back down here. But um, as you can see, it hasn't yet, so it still has the potential to do that, even though the Dow Jones, which we'll go over here in just a second, has broken it, and it is not in that long um, five-wave Elliott move right there. But what we do have right here is a potential one-minute Elliott wave, and I'll just show you real quick, using that top right there, down all the way down here to that pivot low right there. You can see price went up, hit the 38%, which locks it in right there and has continued to go down there ever since. So then what I do is I just start it using that previous low as the pivot point high and then start winding down until it hits the first 30% line, which is right there. The chart's gonna get a little messy here real quick, so bear with me. So what we have right there is 30. We need this thing to be, it's not 30 yet. And so um, this one already is, let's see here if that one was going to be it. Yeah, way past 30. So when the LA wave rules, if you're not familiar with it, the, uh, what would that be, the zero, one, two, three, the third wave cannot be the shortest, right now would be the shortest. So we keep on drawing this down until we get another, let's get rid of this one, until we get it to come up and hit the 30% line, which is that orange line right there. Using that low, you can see it doesn't hit it. So we keep on just drawing it down until eventually it does come up and hit it. <clears throat> so if price would go up and at least hit up there at 3476.50, then that would lock in that this could be the potential third wave right here. Let me just draw these blue lines right here that help me sh myself show the levels. This isn't one yet, but just wanted to show real quick what it would look like if I was doing it. And then from there, I just draw it up back up to the original point, keep it down here at the third point, draw the box, the target zone box right down there. And there you have it. So if the price, let's see here, price comes up from this low, hits this at least at the 34.76.50, and then keeps on going down and hits this target area box right here at around 34.69, then this would be a valid five wave um, Elliott move right there. But still has a lot of work to do until it hits it. And um, just uh, going in tomorrow, uh, to be honest, uh, looking for a little bit more of, um, well, let's see here real quick. What When did the week open? Because what I was saying is it was this, this Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. Open up right about here. Yeah, I think tomorrow's just going to be kind of a sideways day. Um, I don't think we're going to see a whole lot of movement because I think it's going to, the market will end up close to where it opened for the week. Um, you know, it looked like it was a down week, but you had that big move up Monday and then it has just kind of trailed down ever since until uh, today. So uh, not look for a whole lot tomorrow in the market, but unfortunately, the only target I do have is a little bit longer. If this is going to be a five-way late move, to come down here and hit 34.16. But to be honest, I don't think it does that tomorrow. All right, uh, so Dow, Dow Jones. So you can see right here, uh, let me get, take this off of there because I'll show you how it's another potential five-way late move. Price came back and broke that blue line, which would have been the zero, one, two, 
three can't be it can't be the fourth point because it broke into wave one right there so we'll go ahead and get rid of that and so that's why i just think for the sp 500 we'll see this fifth wave complete since it didn't do so for the dow jones that means guaranteed not to but um typically uh you're not going to see too big a move or i don't see typically <clears throat> too big a move one way in the uh dow jones or the sp 500 without the dow jones falling but um it could but anyway it's kind of waffling there uh but um yeah today uh s same sort of thing what happened for the sp had it just trench on down and then pretty much right around there's the u.s market open that bar right there it pretty much starts straight up and we went straight up so uh, we had at least one five wave Elliott move right here that I saw. I'm take this thing off and came down and hit the first box. I don't think it hit the overall 30%. Yeah, it never hit the overall 30%. You see, it came, came really close, even though you know if you had got in early, it came up and obviously hit it. But that's revisionist armchair quarterbacking right there. And then I think I had to step away from the com computer for a little bit. So, or was there even another one using that low? I don't think there was even another one here for us today. Well, there you have just a uh, trade hit there, hit with that. So, yeah, there's not any Elliott waves up here at all. So that's all it was. It was just typical um, X, A, B, C move up there to hit that. But what we do have potentially right here is an Elliott wave move down here. So going down all the way to using that one right there. We have the first potential one. Do that. Take this, let's see here if this is, what's that, 62, this one up here, 66, all right, so we're good to go right there. So, yeah, so this is a 5 weight layout move right here. Let me just draw it up here real quick and then show you what I'll be looking for. Um, not going to take this trade because I'll be going to bed here pretty soon. Don't want to have to monitor it. And let's see, and there's that and that, yep, hit the target area just fine. There we go. And we draw it zero, one, which one's higher? That'd be about the same. Two, three, four, five. So there we go. Five we move down there right there. And then for it to be complete, let me just make sure these are about the same. What's the high on that one? Twenty-eight, four, sixty-three. Yeah, they're the same. So go twenty-eight, four, sixty-three down to right here so for this move to be over um i need it to come up and hit the 38 percent line right there and i just draw that little red box right there to remind myself so it needs to hit 28403 right there doesn't mean price could still reverse from anywhere before hitting this continue to make new lows and then we just keep on drawing it down and waiting for the price to pull back up to the 38 percent line right there for that to be completed and then for looking to take the trade off of it we draw it all the way back up to here and look for price to come up hit at 30 percent then we'd be looking to um where's my arrow at to take a short down to profit target right down here at 28 347 doesn't always happen uh but when it does gives a nice risk to reward right there so typically first entry would be the 38 second entry um sometimes i'll do a second entry at the 50 third entry at 61.8 and then the exit would be or the stop loss would be the uh 78 um point point six level but definitely don't take it blindly made that mistake before and price just rockets up some type of news um gets there and just takes you out really fast so that sucks so um but uh yep so those are that's the potential trade um right now here in the dow jones so going into going into tomorrow that's what i'm looking for um after that you know i don't know what's going to happen obviously i just have to play the market as it goes but not looking for a whole lot of fireworks in the market. Just looking for there's Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. It opened up right around over here. Because you can see we're pretty close, to, pretty, pretty close to it. So wouldn't be surprised somewhere it, it this reverses out of it, closes up a little bit higher today. But shouldn't be a whole lot of movement in there. Um, so anyways, take care out there and talk to you later. Bye.